Hi friends, welcome to Embedded Dye Labs. In this tutorial, we are going to design PCB for frequency modulator using Proteus IDE. To download circuit diagram, simulation, and output files, kindly follow the links which are given below in the description box. Now open Proteus IDE. Select new project. Then click next, select create schematic and default template size, then create, select create PCB layout and default template size, then select next, then select now firmware project and next, then finish. Then go to schematic capture, select component mode and select pick devices, this we need to take transistor. 2N 2222 Double click to add it Then we need inductor Select inductor The generic Select int R Double click to add it Then we need capacitors Go to generic, select non electrolytic and electrolytic. Then we need resistors. Select resistor 0.6 volt. We need 4.7k and 220 ohm. Then we need DC source. After selecting all the components, name the schematic file. Then select component mode, place the components. Then go to instruments, select signal generator and oscilloscope. Now connect all the components. Now save the file. Then uh, provide values to the capacitors and inductor. 4.7 picofarad. 30 micro entry 68 pico farad and this is 0 0.01 micro farad let's save the file now run the simulation Increase the amplitude to 4 and increase the frequency.
now our circuit is working you can stop the simulation save the simulation circuit then we need to print the output of the waveform print it and stop the simulation then we need to replace the signal generated and oscilloscope with the terminals And go to export graphics, export as Adobe PD file and in the file as PCB circuit. Click OK. You see, this is a PCB circuit. Save the file, go to PCB layout, select component board, make sure that all the components have their footprints. Now go to select box mode, then select board edge, draw the board edge. edit its line width go to component mode and go to tools select auto placer make sure all the comments have selected then select ok to place it and zoom the working okay area Now resize the board edge. Now go to design room manager. Go to net classes. Select this under less bottom cover. Click OK. Then select auto router. Click begin routing. This we got two top copper layers. Delete those things. Go to traces. Select default. And manually route it. If you have any conflicts, just delete the route and uh, rearrange that. Now we are done with routing. 
can select text mode and name the PCB board as frequency modulator. Now print the layout, go to output, print layout. This is top copper, top resist, bottom resist and make. We need only three layers, bottom copper, top silk and board edge. Then make sure that it is 100% and save the file as frequency modulator PCB. Okay, thank you friends. For any doubts, post your comments below or visit Embedded Labs. See you soon with another tutorial. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.